All right, so this lesson is about sets and set notation. So these are some symbols that you have to know. And basically the first one, this means A prime. That means the complement to set A. Basically by definition, the complement basically means any element not included in the set. So I'm going to write that down. All right, so it basically means any element not included in the set. The elements are basically the numbers in the set or symbols or whatever it is. So elements in that set is three, four, five, six. We call all each one of those. Each one is an element in the set. In B, three, six, nine, twelve. Each of these numbers are element in the set. That's what elements are. They're just the numbers inside the set. And this symbol here means set. That's a set symbol. The next set is um, null or empty set. Um, that just basically means there is no elements of the set. So. So that means there are no elements in the set. This set mean this symbol means union, and union basically means all the elements in each set combined together. So, so union basically means all the elements in each set combined together. So it's basically like you're putting them both together. You, it's a union. And the last one means it's upside down. You that means intersection. Intersection basically means any element that the two sets have in common. So, so intersection basically means any element that the two sets have in common. Basically where the two sets overlap and have like elements. All right, so they gave us some examples here to start with. It says, given an example, given set A is this set and set B is this set, first find the union, union of A and B and then find the intersection of A and B. So let's first write out with the union, the union of A and B are. So, all right, maybe easier to write this as a Venn diagram. So you'll learn more about this in the coming days anyway. So I might mention this way. This is set A. I'm writing down all the elements of set A. I'm going to make an overlap of set B. Just to begin. And because some numbers are the same. So I can better understand how to answer these questions by first writing out what they are. So the numbers are the same. In both sets are three. So this three is in common in both sets. I'm putting it in the middle where they overlap. So it tells you what numbers are shared between both sets. So three is in common in both. So I'm going to scratch off the three so I don't have to think about it again. And then another number that's in common in both is a six. They both have a six in them. So six belongs here. And those are the only elements they have in common for both. So I'm going to scratch that out too. And the only elements left in set A are four and five. We'll put that there. And then only elements left in set B are 9 and 12. So those are all the elements in set A and B. And that shows where they overlap at. So to find the union of A and B, that basically means, basically means all the numbers in set A and B, but none of them written more than once. And with numbers, in general, we write them from lowest to smallest. So the lowest number is 3. The next number is 4, the next number is 5, the next number is 6, the next number is twelve, uh, 9, and then 12. So this set represents the union of A and B. So this is the set that represents the union of A and B. The second part says what is the intersection of A and B. So the intersection of A and B is this set, 3, 6. That is the intersection of A and B because that's what A and B have in common. That's where they overlap. Let's do another one of those. In example 2, it says let C be the elements here, negative 4, negative 2, 0, and 2. Let D be the set 1, 2, and 3. Um, and let them be two sets in the universe, U, negative 4, negative 3, and the rest of those elements. It says find C prime and D prime. So let's first, let's first draw the whole thing. When they say universe, they actually you to put your two little circles inside of this rectangle here. This is my universe, U. Inside that universe, you got set C and D. So you set D C. You got set D. So I'm going to first look at those two. I'm going to decide what they have, what elements they have in common. So looking at this, 
set C has a 2 in it and set D has a 2 in it. That's the only element they both have in common. So I'm going to work inner first. So it might be easier to work on the inside part first and then build outwards. So that gives you negative 4, negative 2, and 0. It's just part of, and that's, and that's all of set C. And then in set D, you have 1 and 3 left. So those are the only parts of set three, set D that wasn't in overlapping with set C. All right, so in the universe, I tried to mark off all the numbers that have already been counted for. Like we already counted for negative four in this universe. In our universe over here, we have just lots of numbers that are, um, that are not involved in both of these sets. So negative four has already been accounted for, is here. Negative three wasn't. So since I don't have a negative three yet, I'm gonna put it here. Negative 2 was accounted for here, so I don't have to write it again. Negative 1 was not accounted for, so I'm going to place it here. 0 was accounted for, so I'm going to scratch that off my list. 1 is already used here. 2 is used here. 3 is already there, and there's no 4 yet. So 4 is also going to be here floating around in the universe. So now this is my universe of all the elements here, and this is all my sets represented as they should be. The first thing they said was find C prime, so to complement the C. Basically means all the elements that are not in C. So if I want to find all the elements that are not in C, since I have this already written, C prime, all these numbers are in C, and all other numbers in the universe are not. So we're going to start from smallest to biggest. So negative 1 is the smallest. Actually, negative 3 is the smallest. Then negative 1. Then the next number up is positive 1. Then the next number up is 3. Then 4. Um, so these are all the numbers that are not a part of C. So this is C prime. Let's make sure we write it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements. It says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that looks like it's in smallest and ascending order so this would be c prime is it wrong not to put in ascending order no uh, we just generally do put it in order from least to greatest but it's not wrong you have the set in any order that you want um, but again we usually write it if you have numbers you, you use the right in order d prime so d prime would be all the elements that are not a part of d in this universe so all the numbers that are not a part of D, uh, from smallest would be negative 4, then negative 3, then negative 2, then negative 1, then 0, and 4. So that's D prime. Those are all the elements um, in this universe that are not a part of D. And again, if it, if it bothers you to worry about this, at least the greatest, don't worry about it. Just write down all the elements you see and you can figure out what the right answer is from there. All right, this is one final example. It says, let C be the same elements previously and let D be the same elements previously and U be the same elements previously. Find C prime, except find the intersection of C prime and D prime. So since we already did that, and those same numbers. If you want the intersection of C prime and D prime, we're going to take what we know about C prime and C and D prime, and we're going to actually draw them first in our universe. So C prime, and here's D prime. We want to know where they intersect, if they have any intersection. It might be an empty set. So let's look for any numbers they have in common. They both have a 4 in common, so I can put that in this box. And that, they both have a negative 3 in common. So that goes here. So I got a 4 in common, I got a negative 3 in common. They both have a negative 1 in common. So I can use this one already. And, um, they don't all have a negative 2, they don't both have a 3, they don't both have a 1. So this is it. 
So the intersection of C prime and D prime, I'll write it here. C prime is the intersection of D prime is the set that is 4, negative 3, and negative 1. So that's the set. That's the set that is C prime intersection with D prime. That's all I have. Good luck.